I had, but not for a long time. I read them all when I was about 11, 12, like end of primary school. And then when I got the part, I reread them all. We did, we had this awesome stunt department that kind of took us on about two weeks before we started filming and just ran us through. Here's how to shoot guns, here's how to jump off things in a harness, uh, here's how to fall over without hurting yourself, uh, which is harder than you think. I was really bad at falling over, which is weird because in real life I'm great at falling over. It is waking up pretty early, you know, in the fives generally around then, which is a bit Boy, but you get breakfast on set and everything is fine. You have to get your makeup done and get into costume. And then I guess we were generally shooting, you know, maybe six scenes a day on average. It depends on how long they are, obviously. You shoot, you know, you're shooting huge sequences from episode four right at the start and then you're shooting episode one right at the end. So you really have to be across all the material. And that was the biggest thing for me was always making sure I knew what the context of what was happening was because the character changes so much over the six episodes that for me I was like, okay, what's happened to her yet and what she's still got to come? That's such a typical answer, but I feel like the boys together would always get kind of into prank mode or just kind of dumb mode. There's one scene in the show where we're carrying JP, who plays Lee, across a field and he's like got a leg wound and it's meant to be this big triumphant moment. And the boys were all laughing about some pun they made about the word bacon. And I was like, boys are so stupid. No, they were great. They were like lovely, but yeah. I like drama and comedy equally now. I don't think, I think they're both hard. I always thought I was more inclined towards comedy, but after doing Tomorrow When the War began, I definitely feel like drama is something that I've really enjoyed.